Good morning. Thank you for joining me, Coach Mike Line, your Monday morning. A few weeks back, I took a business trip to Vegas. And I specify business trip because when I say that to some folks and clients of mine, they chuckle. Vegas, business, really? Anyways, on my return trip to Fort Lauderdale, I came to the airport a little bit early, had a bite to eat, and decided to stroll through some of the shops. And I call, came across this one shop in Terminal E called World of Sports. They had all sports jerseys, hats, jackets, and accessories. As I'm str strolling through the store, I'm looking up at the jerseys and the names. I'm seeing Sanders, Jeter, Clemens, Favre, Marino, Elway. I'm seeing names of all retired players from the different sports. I find it quite interesting. I continually to scan the store and that's all I saw was retired players' names. Basketball, baseball, football, hockey. And I asked the, the gentleman, who was the owner of the organization, and I asked him, tell me about this. He goes, I will tell you about it. You know, I used to buy the jerseys of the hot player. The LeBron James in, um, in Cleveland and all the others. Only to find that they would get traded, they would move away, and I would get stuck with all this inventory. It happened enough that the last time I got stuck with $50,000 of worthless inventory that I couldn't move, I said, that's it, no more. And I decided to get rid of the hot jerseys and carry all the names that people know and remember and are stars. And I will tell you, since that point, my cash flow has increased. I don't get stuck with inventory. I've actually doubled my revenues. And best yet, nobody else does it. You want an old jersey? You come to me. Great stuff. Here's a gentleman that was had a strategy which really wasn't serving him of his organization. He made a decision, made a shift, went against the grain, and now he stands out unique. So anytime you need a jersey of a retired player like that, you can go to him. So my question to you is, where do you need to make a shift in your organization? Are you following the pack or are you standing out so your brand can be seen from miles away so when somebody needs something specifically, they can go to you. He took a risk, that risk paid off. He's different, he's unique. And in business, you definitely want to be unique, you want to be different, you want to stand out so you're recognized from the crowd. If anybody wants to sit down and talk about more of how you can really work on your brand and get unique, feel free to reach out. If not, also I have a four-page exercise you could do that really gets you thinking about how you can stand out amongst your competition. Interested? Just reach out to me. I want to thank you as always for joining me, Coach Mike, on your Monday morning. I want to wish you a productive and proper week, and I'll see you next Monday. Go get them. Thank you.